The rubber track story begins with the American Caterpillar Company, which is not really surprising. Cat having played a major role in the agricultural steel track market for years. The first commercial success story of a rubber-tracked agricultural tractor lies with their Challenger 65. The tractor had its origins in 1970s Caterpillar research projects to develop an articulated wheeled tractor, along with early attempts at a tractor with rubber tracks rather than tyres. These schemes resulted in a number of test tractors, and by the mid-1980s, pre-production prototypes were already being tested. Its competitor for the wheeled machines, the Tracked Challenger 65, was first shown in the States in late 1986 and was finally unveiled to UK farmers in 1989. This Challenger 65 was new in 1989 from Levertons and is thought to have been amongst the first handful of tractors imported. It's working here with a Simba Mono One Pass cultivator with discs, tines and packer, which was also new during the same era. The new undercarriage was named the Mobile Track System, or MTS. It was made up of two continuous rubber belts, each 24 and a half inches wide and reinforced with four layers of flexible steel cables. These belts, designed and manufactured by CAT themselves, were friction driven by rear drive wheels which had rubber rims bonded onto the surface. V-type guide blocks on the inside of the belt maintained alignment. The belt was tensioned by spring-loaded cylinders acting on the pneumatic front idlers, and there were four bogey-mounted mid-rollers on each side, cushioned by air suspension to transfer some of the machine's weight to the ground. This allowed the Challenger to float over uneven surfaces. Engine power was transmitted to the tracks via a full power shift direct drive transmission which allowed on-the-go shifting under load in all gears. The unit, built by CAT specifically for tillage applications, gave 10 forward gears and two reverse. Top speed on the road was 18.2 miles per hour. Inside the pressurized, heated and air-conditioned cab, tinted glass was standard. The transmission was controlled by a single lever and there was a clutch or inching pedal which was used for smooth engagement when starting under load. Power was, of course, from Caterpillar's own engine. In this case, a six-cylinder turbocharged intercooled 3306 DITA diesel. This was rated at 270 horsepower at 2100 RPM. Although the tractor had a light footprint, its operating weight ranged from 14 to 17.7 tonnes. The optional three-point hitch added almost 800 kilograms. With a wheelbase of 2.7 metres, the 65 gave a ground contact area over twice that of a four-wheel drive tractor fitted with dual wheels. 
and Cat claimed the tractor exerted a ground pressure of just 5.9 psi. Like the majority of rubber tracked crawlers that would follow it, the Challenger 65 was steered by a conventional steering wheel in the cab to give the same feel as a wheeled tractor. When turned, it engaged a hydrostatic pump and motor, which powered a steering differential that changed the speed of each belt. The Challenger 65 successfully combined the mobility and high-speed capabilities of rubber tyres with the high traction and efficiency of tracks. In late 1990, Caterpillar updated it to become the more powerful 65B and extended the range with the new Challenger 75.